Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel and today I'll be showing you guys how to make body cream or body lotion so I'll be taking out the measurements one by one and I'm making use of two oils in this video the first oil I'm using is peanut oil and the second oil I'll use is palm kernel oil in cream production you can actually make use of any oil of your choice you just look at what that oil can do to your body the properties or the what that oil contains then you choose whether you want that oil or not but you can actually make use of any oil that's the awesome stuff about cream production then there's one thing you need to understand about cream production or lotion production which is that it makes use of oil and water but you should also know that oil and water don't mix so you have to understand that oil and water don't mix on their own when it comes to cream or lotion production something must be done to the water and the oil in order for them to mix together or combine together and that thing is called emotion emotion occurs when water is allowed to encapsulate oil molecules with the help of a stretchy ingredient called emulsifier and the most popular emulsifier or em emulsifier that is used to make water and oil combine together is called emulsifying wax or e-wax either emulsifying wax or you can call it e-wax it's an emulsifying agent that allows water and oil to combine together so you have to note that then this emulsifying wax or e-wax there's a particular quantity you have to take note of so that the oil and water can combine together there's a particular quantity you have to use so that it will combine together if you use too little of the emulsifying wax or e-wax the oil and water may not really combine together they may separate the next day so there's a particular quantity you have to actually use very important and which is the oil and water once you combine the two of them and you place it on your weight balance and then you get the particular or the total of the weight of your oil and water you divide it by zero point i mean you times that you times that quantity by 0 0.05 the answer will give you the quantity of emulsifying wax you should use in that your oil and water measurement another what i mean is that your emulsifying wax should be five percent of the total quantity of your oil and water so you add your oil and water together and check the total weight on your digital weight balance you now times it by five percent which is the total number times 0 0.05 the answer there will give you the total quantity of emulsifying wax you should use and produce that your body lotion or body cream another thing you have to take note of again very important is that you must boil you must warm or boil that water then you must also heat up the oil the oil and the water has to be heated up you, while you are heating the oil you heat up the water they have to be heated up very important very hot once you heat them up then you now turn them into, into each other and start mixing with either your spoon or your stick blender you can either use a spoon or a stick blender and mix them together but this mixing may take up to 30 minutes or one hour for it to turn to the final body cream thickness you're looking for. That thick um, consistency, that way that cream feels, that thickness. 
you must continue mixing after you mix for like mix for like one minute you pause then you pause for like you can pause and wait for like five or ten minutes then you come back and mix again for another one minute you pause you can relax then after 10 minutes or 5 minutes, you come back again, mix again. That's how you do it. So you don't actually overstress yourself. You mix for one minute, you go and rest. Rest for like 10 minutes, come back again, mix again. You'll be observing that the mixture will start becoming thick. It will be giving you that cream or lotion thickness you're looking for. So you can take up to 30 minutes to one hour to mix. Then another important thing you have to note is that you must add preservative. It's very important. This is because once you bring oil and water together, once water is put into oil, it, it creates an environment where bacteria can form or can take place. So, because water actually creates an environment for bacteria to start um, forming or reproducing, you have to add a, a, a preservative into your your cream um, production so while you are still mixing it you add your preservative you saw when I, when I added my own preservative just add it at that point when it's still in between it does not yet become very thick you just add a preservative and you have preservative you're adding it when your oil and water mixture has cooled down don't add it when it's very hot add it when it has cooled down to a certain temperature maybe it's warm it's not hot again it's not warm you now add your preservative then any other thing you are adding like if you want to add things like almond oil grape seed oil all those kind of oils to, to actually make your cream fantastic or your lotion fantastic like and the turmeric all those kind of things you want to add inside even your fragrance add it when the the uh, the temperature of your mixture has come down it's now warm it's not hot again because if you add it while it's too hot it will just the temperature will kill everything to destroy everything you are putting inside and to make it of non effect so imagine you're putting a preservative into a very very hot solution of your oil and water mixture then the next thing you, in your mind you, you have you think that you have added preservative by the time you know the temperature has killed that preservative then you, you see your oil forming mold or some bacteria kind of thing and your 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 cream changing color after one or two weeks and you are like ah, i put preservative then why is it spoiling that's because you added that preservative when the mixture was still very hot you need to add it when it is cold or, or warm okay so thank you for listening and watching this video and see you next time on our next show